Hello everyone, today we will tell a story and not just with words but with isometric diagrams and the moral of this story is transformation, transformation of an existing building through phases of demolition all the way to proposed new construction. So let's get started. So this is where the story begins. We have an existing building and this is what it does look like. And after all is said and done, we have a proposed renovation. But of course, something must happen before that is to demolish a few things which were present in this very area. So we will begin with the existing model and this is it. And we need a an isometric drawing for this. So how do we create an isometric drawing? We need to go to here in project map, find the generic axonometry because we need an axonometric drawing. So currently it's not what looking like the way we want. So we need something to be in this other direction. And once we have set that, we can right click and go to 3D settings to further define our isometric drawing. So let's go in here and select a preset which is the isometric drawing and currently it's not going to look right and we need to change the angle that's all we need to change to something close to that which is 180 and now it should be fine with 30 degrees and 150 90 one meter one meter one meter and for it to look to look right make sure that your settings look just a little bit like these ones so i'll say okay and i'm quite happy with this drawing so now it's time to save it and i need a 3d document in this because a view is not going to be enough for me so i'll say create a new 3d document i'm going to say phase one because we are phasing this and say existing and I create that view. So that view is created and we need we need to change a few things here because we are having color, which I do not want for this case because I want the colors to be the ones to tell the story. So I can't afford to have everything having its own color. So in the settings, right click and say 3D document settings. In the settings, we will go to uncut elements and change that to a uniform pen. Which uniform pen we will choose as the background pen, which is white, or you can choose a white literally. So I will just select the background pen and that will be all. And the next important thing is to enable the surface cover fill so i will click that such that we have some texture going on on the rooftops and the surfaces that we are going to just add a little bit of detail and when i say okay there we have it we have our first drawing Whew, exciting now we will save this drawing and i'm going to say right click and save view i'm going to save it as phase one existing that will work say okay and that will be created for us so let's create a second view so the second view is going to culminate from the existing as well but this time we need to highlight the demolition so here we have after demolition but it may not be important for us we want to highlight the demolition so let's change the renovation filter to demolition plan now, for those of you who are not familiar with the renovation filters, I'm going to leave a card at the end of this video such that you can go ahead and familiarize yourself with the basics of renovation filters. So I already made a video about that that will explain everything. But if you are not seeing a renovation filter tab here, you might want to go to window, palettes, and find the renovation filter there. So embed it right here. I have it embedded here. So I'm going to change this. So I'm going to change this from the existing to demolition plan. And there we have it. We have the things highlighting the things that we want, but a few things are not correct. And that's because by default, the demolition plan is set to override every other thing and just highlight these things that are going to be demolished. 
But let's go to the document renovation and renovation filter options such that we tell Akika that in the demolition plan, we do not want to override the existing. So we just say show and those will be fine. The rest should be overridden. And let's say, okay, and now this is more like what we want. Like we said before, here in the project map, the generic axonometry. So this is what we have. And like we did before, right click, and go to the 3D projection settings and let's choose the isometric axonometry. So now we have this drawing, but we need to change the angle to 180 so that we have a perfect isometric and you can see what it looks like right here. So we say, okay, and that has been created for us and we need to save a, save a 3D document because a view is not going to be so much helpful for us. Let's right click and say new 3D document and I'm going to call this as phase two demo or demolition. So we say create and that has been created for us. Like we did before, we went to the settings of this very 3D document. So 3D document settings and then we change to a uniform pen, which uniform pen should be a white or background and we enable the cover fill as well we say okay and that creates for us a beautiful drawing here which is the demolition plan so we save this one save view as phase two demo create and that view is going to be saved and for your information when we do save a view it comes directly in here so the existing phase one that we created is here and phase two is here now one more remaining and in order to save time we just go back to where we left off that's in the 3d so this is the um, settings that are there for the axonometric drawing and all we have to do now is to change this to the new construction such that now we have ourselves the new construction and like we did previously we can see that these other existing things have been overridden and we don't want that for this kind of drawing. So we'll go to document, renovation, and renovation filter options to tell Akika that in the new construction, we do not want to override. We want to show them like that, such that we are able to do things in this space. Let's right click and save a new 3D document. And I'm going to call this final phase. And what final phase is it going to be? Proposed final phase proposed and say create and that is going to be created right here so we have a few things going on like we did before we need to go to the settings of this 3d document and tell like had that uncut elements should not be overridden they should have just a white color and then we need to just check the surface cover fill to have some texture going on right there and when we hit ok that is being created. So we have ourselves the third drawing. So let's save this view with everything else the way it is and say create and it has been created. So we have ourselves these three drawings and let me put them in a folder. I'll put here phaser such that it's easier for us to see them. So we have the first phase, phase one, we have phase two and the final phase, we have them in the folder so these are the drawings so to improve them you might need to add a bit more character because we are telling a story so how is this space going to be used and for that i do recommend a site which is um, peepmydrawings.com and you can go ahead and pick characters because these add some life into the drawing so i already downloaded a few of them you you get to download the dwg file and you can use it in akikad most of them are free to use so find and download them so here in akikad you all you have to do is to bring them in so for example for the final i already had something going on here and i did use some of them so if i have them here i can just for demonstration bring these two guys that I downloaded from Pimp My Drawings and just paste them in there. Just to illustrate how you use these spaces, we have a sitting area here and then we have some entrance of the existing and someone is walking by. And for the phase two as well, which is the demolition, we have a few things which I put in here, just a group of people here discussing 
as the demolition is taking place or whatever just i will just copy them so by ctrl c to copy and put them right here in the uh, demo not the existing but the demolition plan so status and ctrl v there we are and finally on the existing i already have a story here which i created which is not that interesting but it adds something about to show how the spaces are used so i'll copy all of these go here in the existing and bump so now we have ourselves a good 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 thing going on so how am i able to achieve these textures it's easy if i go to the settings of this mesh you can see that i overrode the uncut line so the uncut line i gave it a mild pen such that you know we have some good texturing going on here and this very texture which i did use for this surface so if i go to the settings of this mesh you can see the surface is uh, asphalt dark and by default it doesn't have a render which i did put by going to options element attributes and surfaces here so now if i go to the surfaces and pull out the asphalt dark okay pavement asphalt dark if i pull it out you can see that i put a render on there and that's what's being shown here just for demonstration even on this surface i put some brick texture so if i select this and and go into the settings you can see that the uncut pen i put just a mild pen of 0.18 that is for around the mesh itself but then also the pavement brick if i go to options element attributes and surfaces i have on the pavement brick a cover fill which is the one that is being shown so you can see i have brick running bond and i overrode it with a light pen which is yeah the lightest it can be such that we have ourselves a neat drawing so now that we have our drawings ready let's export them into the final something here so let's create a new layout here in the layout book create a new layout and it's going to be an a0 and let's say what should we call it a phaser the phaser the famous phaser create and it will be created i have nothing here and that's because when i did create it of course there was nothing so i have an a0 master and then if i go here phaser this is where the drawings are supposed to be so i go back here in the view map and just drag and drop all of these things so let's let's bring them let's see what happened and we have ourselves uh three drawings here if you do not want to see the title be sure to go here in title and choose no title such that we do not see it because you know we are going to rearrange this stuff to what we want to see but we also want to crop them to remove a few things which should not be appearing so like you would a slab you want to go in and edit this thing and now we begin to arrange them to just to tell the story so this is the beginning portion we begin from the existing we go to the demolition and finally to the propose and for this we can use even a guideline so let's use a line here and just extend it just to make sure the rest of the things are in line let's take the second one and it needs to be in the same conversation line with this drawing and the next one needs to follow and the rest is really up to you so you 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 you, you can definitely support this story with uh, some wording it's easy just pick here and say something about this maybe this is the existing just name it existing and uh the next one is, is is demolition the next one is new construction and then we also have a few things that you can say about this demolish this rooftop remove the slash upload demolish two columns remove planters things like that that are going to help to help enhance the story and that's all there is to it but don't forget those wording they 
make your drawing look a little, a little bit more professional. And if you haven't watched how to use renovation filters, click the next video and I'll see you there.